Let's create some fractals in Unreal Engine 5 uh, using Mecha, which is our latest plugin for real-time fractals. And this is a example level, which is included in the pack. So we need to create a new level. Oops, new level and add some light. I use the environment light mixer. Just click on all the buttons here and find the fractal blueprint in your blueprint, make a blueprint folder. And I'm going to use the clean shapes fractal this time. So if you zoom out, you see that it's like a box and you can resize uh, the bound scale here. It's an infinite fractal, so there's no reason to make it really big. Just set that to one. And we need to rebuild the light because there's no reflection, there's nothing. So just build, build, build light only. Okay, it finished, so now I want you to understand what's going on in this fractal without all the reflections and the shading. So to do that, you can select your fractal blueprint, which is here, and set the RGB mode for the coloring. So RGB colors, go here and set the roughness, increase that a bit, and also set this color to gray so we can see the fractal shapes more uh, clearly like that. Pretty cool fractal. Okay, so uh, let's check some of the parameters that we have here. You have the scale, which affects the wolf fractal. And then there's all parameters about the shape. So you can enable or disable the shape. And it has a scale, as you can see here. You can change the, the let's say, the smooth, smoothness of it. The depth and the height. And basically, the shape that you are uh, describing here is this shape. So when debug shape is enabled, you will see the basic of it. So if you create something really thin, like, like this, and then uncheck debug shape, you should be able to see all the thin um, shapes. So let's change the scale. Here you go. Pretty cool effect. So let's say you want to render this one and So I've played a bit with the, a bit more with the shape uh, parameter here and I found this fractal which is really cool to me with these spikes here So let's create a new camera now cinema camera actor and right click snap object to view and right click again and pilot cinema camera actor frame the fractal that you want and play with the focus distance that looks good 
and we can finally uh, well first enable the shadow contact shadow set that to 0.5 and let's play a bit with the light looking good and now we can finally play with the textures so select your blueprint and change the color settings to PBR textures orbit trap and now you have access to this menu here and you can change pretty much everything so if you want to swap the texture like let's write this one and this one you see that you have a cool pattern here you can also change the roughness uh, texture and also all the parameters about uh, PBR materials so the metallic and the roughness here like that so um, at the moment we are using a roughness texture here which is folded and follows the fractal shape and you can use whatever you want this is just a, a basic strip so it's it's easy to visualize like that but you can also use the same uh, roughness texture as your diffuse so if you search for 21 you will see there's normals and emission textures but you can just select that and put that as roughness and then play with the intensity like that and then you can also change the orbit trap method there's like 20 or something different um, color options this one is really trippy love it and you can also change the offsets of the color so this is uh, looping between minus one and one you can change the period something like that and you can change uh, how many iterations uh, will the texture um, displace on the fractal so a good number usually usually is like six and a little less for the mean call iteration like four okay We can also change the normals so uh, let's find this uh, material normals which is this one okay this is more uh, realistic let's say and you can also change how much do you want uh, the normal texture to affect the render okay now let's say that we want to add some emission to it you can go here in ms emissive settings uh, let's use the orbit trap again and here you can see that you have this image with just one thin line and you can of course change that to like a rainbow one at the moment it's not really visible but we can just disable the directional light so you can see the emission and of course you also have to change the emissive settings so 
Uh, let's increase a bit the intensity. We don't need any hue shift. And where is that? And then we need to go in orbit trap settings and emissive orbit traps. And here you can really have fun with the emission. So it takes a bit to get used, but you can create a really cool patterns with that. Okay, like this, let's enable the light. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, the last thing I want to change is the light. So let's add some fog. And let's write volumetric fog. Okay. Change the exposure in the camera to manual. And the bloom. Pretty cool. Oops. Then you can change the chromatic alteration and all the post effect, uh, which I'm not going to focus right now. And well, we are basically done. You can just save this by doing, um, where is that? High resolution screenshot like that. And it will be saved here. You can also set that to two for a bigger image. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you can still play with all different parameters. You can animate them. It's pretty cool to see everything in real time. See you in the next tutorial.